These are the smartest plays in NFL history, starting with a play that was so effective it could soon be illegal. No surprise there, because it was New England. Now watch, I bet every coach is gonna try this glitch. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. The Patriots were always known to pull off some smart plays, now leaving the offense back deep near their own end zone where anything could go wrong. You'll see what I'm talking about later in the video, but next is a play here that left the entire state of Texas speechless. Peyton still has the football. And no, this ain't slowed down. That's actually Peyton Manning's top speed. Dude literally sashayed in there. But what if a player ran a play so risky, if it didn't work out, he was cut from the team? Oh, upside kick try. McAfee recovers his own kick. Before Pat McAfee had his own pod and was dropping elbows with the people's champ, he was doing even crazier things. But we kicked one right, we had kicked one left, so they had nobody in the middle of the field. And actually like a week or two before that, because we kicked one right and to the left, I told Tom McMahon and Chuck, I was like, hey, if there's nobody in the middle, can I just kick it to myself? And they were like, nobody's gonna do that. And if Pat didn't make the recovery, coach was gonna cut him on the spot. He goes, if you call it, you better get it. And if you don't, just go ahead and walk right off the field. <laughs> Expect nothing less from the legend himself. For the brand, man. But that's not as much of a high IQ play as this punt return here, where the Seahawks got tricked by some substitution jutsu. So smart, even the Cardinals had to give it a try. Taken on the near side of the field, digging everybody. It's Byron Murphy. Byron Murphy hurtling into Colts territory. Damn, the cameraman can't even keep up. It's like everyone's trying to win an Oscar performance with all this acting. But this next play proves that Julio Jones, a wide receiver, deserves Defensive Player of the Year. Matt Ryan threw another common air ball, which Julio knew it was gonna be a pick. So he had to switch sides right then and there. Who knew that Julio could hit that hard? Let it go, looking for Julio. Not as hard as hitting the like button on this video, so make sure you do that because this 99 yard punt return by the Raiders had less punch and a lot more dash to it. As good job by the coverage you in, Harris says, I'm gonna play this because I can. And look at the return he gets. Dude just picked up the ball and took off like he stole something. He just bipped the entire team. Although that was pretty dumb from the Broncos special teams to let that ball go, the Raiders were pretty slick here. Unlike the Chargers who fooled everyone on this fake punt, except for one guy. They get a fake tie long to throw for him. Hunter Renfro was smart enough to know not to let this crazy play happen. He just went all Gordon Ramsay and said, get this shit out of my kitchen. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Which ended up being a smart strategy here for the Ravens to win the game. With 11 seconds left, fourth and eight backed up into their own end zone, where again, anything can go wrong here. The Ravens decided to become another type of bird as it became a game of chicken. It's even come close to Cook, who goes to the back of the end zone as time expires. Man, those Bengals were confused, the commentators were confused, and even the refs were clueless. The entirety of the offense was mad mugging the defense so much, you'd think they were somewhere on the streets of Oakland. All because there was a loophole at the time that the game could actually end on an offense penalty, even if it meant to chew up the clock. The result of the play is a safety. That two points will count, and by rule, there is no extension, so the game is over. Well, that's it. They literally hacked the system here, just like how Patrick Mahomes changed the way QBs should throw the football. I'm gonna look over here, and then I just hit him right there, right on the tra where the trash can was, and so. He was throwing these no-look passes that looked so limitless, you thought he was taking NZT. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoa. Oh. Good exit. Here, I think, from a quarterback perspective, watch this from the first half. Look at Mahomes' eyes and head. He's looking to the right and throws it all the way across left. I step up in the pocket and I kind of saw the linebacker was kind of covering the guy I wanted to throw to. So I knew if I looked up the field and acted like I was kind of running, I knew he would kind of squeeze in a little bit. And uh, I did, uh, for the most part, no look it. 
this all started because dude just wanted to outduel his college teammate. And then I just throw the slant right behind him. <laughs> Cliff kind of mentioned it, and I was saying I could do it, of course, and then we kind of started doing it into the net. All right, all right. I know Matthew Stafford was doing this too, but come on, it's Mahomes. Opponents are out here getting outsmarted by a guy that laughs just like SpongeBob. Yeah, just know that the Kansas City Chiefs are never underdogs. Just know that. <laughs> And if you thought that was crazy, these last 10 smart NFL plays will definitely leave your head spinning. Damn! But before that, make sure you hit that subscribe button, because we've got some high IQ plays where a man literally turns invisible. And then there was that time when Lamar Jackson played another position besides running back, and one where a man allegedly sabotaged an entire game. But just when you thought Mahomes was the only one pulling off crazy passes, his boy Travis Kelsey was pulling off high IQ. This play was almost as smart as this fine print rule that not many players knew existed. And judging from how number 29 just froze there, questioning his life choices, what exactly just just happened. So the dude intentionally stepped out of bounds, made sure he was out, and then touched the football. And what did that accomplish? It then forced a penalty on the Lions, putting the Packers out of a dangerous spot and chilling comfy on the 40-yard line. I bet the Lions couldn't believe it. But that's not as unbelievable as Big Ben putting his balls on the table in the final seconds of the game. So often, and then they got it in behind him. Here's a fake spike, Brown, touchdown! Down by five with less than a minute to go in the fourth. Clock management was key. You would expect them to spike the ball after a quick first down and bounce. But this was probably the only time in life anyone got outsmarted by Antonio Brown. Hashtag CTESPN. But that's not near as bad as being outsmarted by the Eagles, who have been running the cheapest play in NFL history. For the past couple of years, the Eagles have been running the Tush Push, an overpowered QB sneak led by Jalen Hurts, who can squat over 600 pounds. Because of this, the Eagles got this down to a science, getting easy one-yard first downs and TDs pissing everybody off. It became so OP, there's talks of banning the play altogether. Damn, this league is getting more soft by the second, I swear. So when the Cardinals saw the Eagles line up for the sneak, they knew what was coming. However, or make it look like that and then run a trip playoff for Kenneth Gainwell, the high school quarterback. It's crazy that they saved that for a bottom feeder team like the Cards. That's crazy. They probably would have rage quitted if they could have. Here's where he was. Great job, guys. Finding Riley Cooper lying down in the Saints logo so you couldn't see him. Maybe soon Philly will bring back this play right here, which was a literal magic trick. But the play ended up being a forward lateral and got called back. Damn. But these top five plays were not. Especially this one that gave Bills fans PTSD. Taken by Neal. He gives it to Wycheck. Wycheck. That looked like a forward pass. Taken by Dyson. It wasn't so much a miracle as a really smart play by Frank Wycheck. Rest in peace to the guy, by the way. And smart people are also pretty creative, which is what Bill Belichick showed the Jets with a Monday night troll job for the ages. Unbeaten. Top heavy teams there in the NFC, aren't there? Ball start. Offense. This penalty has also declined. It's still fourth down. We gotta play. The Jets were like, are we a joke to you? And Belichick was like, bro, you've been a joke for over two decades. You don't even have an answer to this. But this still isn't as big of a troll as throwing a pass in an NFL game to yourself and catching it, though. Second and five. Ball batted up into the air and caught by Jackson. He caught his own pass. That's what Lamar Jackson did like he was Mr. Perfect in the 90s. That's almost as credible as literally outsmarting one of the most technically sound QBs in NFL history. Man, pump fake, going deep for Wayne, intercepted inside the 10-yard line by Ed Reed. And as it turns out, he knew that Peyton knew what Ed was going to do. So Ed did the exact opposite and beat Peyton in his own mind game. Reed was one of the few players who was able to penetrate Peyton's giant forehead and go all inception on him. But that's not as cerebral as Mike Tomlin making a mistake that actually benefited his team. At taken down at the 27 yard line. Jones was like, why the hell is this guy on the field? And Tomlin just smiled and was like, yeah, what are you going to do about it? With no penalty flag in sight, Jones couldn't believe it. Kick I have never, yards. ever, 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 ever in my life seen a coach on the sideline with his back to the play. 70 yards. Though. I you don't think, care. So you thought I, I've always seen head coaches looking at the play, watching the play develop from their eyes. Now, Mike did have to pay a $100,000 fine for the whole thing. 
probably just the cost of doing business in his position, as some would say. But everyone wanted to hear it from Mike Tomlin himself. So, years later, he laid it all out there. No pun intended. On the Jumbotron, it looks like he's running up the right sideline, yeah. but actually he's coming up our sideline. <laughs> So what you're telling me is dude was hypnotized at the Jumbotron until the very last second? But if you roll the footage back, those eyes don't lie, man. A halfway decent concocted explanation. Ten years in the making. We do not care. And there's still all sorts of wild theories out there. Even I'm still guessing. But he's sticking to his story. And in the end, no one will really know what Mike Tomlin did there, except it'll also be smart if you click on the next video where one player ended up weighing over 600 pounds from eating too much. This is probably the heaviest video on YouTube. So just click on the video, and I'll see you there in a few seconds.